And I say, oh, me I walk up and I sing love song and this man I follow me. So I say, yo, brother, you're a batty man. Sure, brother. Yeah. Bust out laughing. Don't fool yourself thinking that you can go each up a studio today and bust tomorrow. It's not going to happen. All right, so, so you remember earlier you spoke about someone, I'm a, I'm a, some people, I refer to them as the gatekeepers. Mm -hmm. The gatekeepers have a tendency if they have for them people who them want for the for them thing, for them way. You understand what I'm right, saying? So I do not make music in the United States. No, I do not. Time went on and I see a virgin named Usain Bolt become famous. And he did something. That something is every ad that he did was recorded on this rock. Help time protection. Mm. Sure. They never know me have it. Welcome to another episode of Inside the Music. I mean, I'm your host, GZB, and this is Pelper Time TV. And today we have a special guest. Goes by the name of... Devari. Devari. You know what I mean? Yes, Welcome. Sir. To the platform. Thank you. Mama. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. Yes, you, so you say you can, you can maneuver them things? Yeah? It all depends on the time. Chubba that ain't you know? Now you're bingy. <laughs> yeah. Need to the drum them for this. Yes, I have. Like a purge. You know, I'm tuning in yeah, the studio man. and I see them things and don't even I don't touch them. Yeah, yeah man. I'm one of them rude people there. Eh? Yeah, man. But I'm not rude, you know. Apart from your national heritage, it's in your DNA. Yeah, but. Right, from, so. from early age, we just say no. What started you out in music? Okay, so what really started me out is my grandmother, um, from home per se, because my grandmother never really sing, but she had this angelic home. And as I, as I grew, I started to notice that is what she used to break the stresses of life. Yeah. So that started me per se on a musical journey. As far as professionally is concerned, I released my first song professionally in 2016. Yeah. So that's like a long and short of it all. That is it, man. I got to get right in the depths of things. Yeah, so you said grandma. Mm -hmm. Grandma music for ease our stress. Yeah. So, so what type of music was grandma playing? You know, it was, all, it was all gospel, you know, because I grew up, actually, I spent most of my time around the women of the family. Because mm -hmm. in my time, and as a matter of fact, I talk about my time, Pampelpa time. Yeah. You see, it speaks for itself. A time. It's my say. And what happened is that um, it was a different world then because we didn't have social media. As a matter of fact, the internet wasn't even quite what it is now. See? And so, for understand the world around you, it was mostly the spoken word from face to face. True. Right? Facebook was face, your face, and a book. Mm -hmm. That's what it was. So, um, back in the time, you know, you find, say, as life carry you go to different places, ups and downs, in and outs and whatever. You have to find a way for not only understand it, but to live through it for make it to the next avenue, the next challenge, the next whatever. So as this start to happen, music start to become so much more of an intricate part of life. True indeed. You see what I'm saying? It can ease pain, yeah. ease stress. Yeah. yeah. But at a yeah. tender age, what kind of stress you got through? All right, so you know, it's it difficult for you to understand it except you have walked the journey yourself. True. Right? Because a four year old can't really express to you how they are feeling. Yeah? Mm -hmm. But after you have been a four year old, then you understand that that in and of itself, the inability to say, Mummy, my belly hurt me, and I say, I'll be me eat too much mango, is not the mango, something else wrong with my belly. Yeah. That is stress. That is stress. Because okay. you can't bring it across, and yeah. you would like to. Yeah, but true. you can't. So right, so that's one example of the type of stress that we, we all face. Yeah. And like me say, it's not exactly. until you're an adult, yeah. you realize that as a child, oh my gosh, I went through this, I went through and that. And when you have children yourself. There yeah. you go, it's a repeat of the same yeah, thing because literally really, they're you know, a, a mirror of you. Yeah, man, yeah, you, you nailed it. You know, so we got through this already. Yeah, man, you nailed it. You, know you nailed it. it. All right. Yeah, man, right, that's all. Get him some water. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a stress me when we're young on the TV sign off. But, but brother, you know, but it's supposed to die a bit. With TV, I go after. No, you used to go after twelve o'clock, you know. Yeah, man, on a Saturday night, <laughs> <laughs> and that was the only form of entertainment because you can't run. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so them, you them days the music was more like a thing within you mm -hmm. because you had less 
options. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. whatever was playing on the radio. That was what it and was. that was the hit. As a matter of fact, I want to tell you the foundation of reggae music came from what you just said. Yeah. You understand? The foundation and principles of reggae music at that time, there was only two stations in Jamaica, RJR and JBC. Mm -hmm. Yeah? And um, bringing it across from overseas to here was not necessarily an easy task because I remember a company named Jamintel was responsible for the transmissions that came from overseas and then they distributed across the island. And if you weren't, let's say, up high enough or had an antenna, you're not going to pick up that station. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So what you got is what you got. And you made the best of it, you know? Yeah. So that's, that's how it was back in those days. Nowadays, we have a little device we call a smartphone where basically connect you to the world all the way. We make you dumb. There you go. Smartphone for you, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's for the dummies. Yeah, man. But you know, the other thing about it still, it just speaks to the changes that we have to go through. Because back in the day, it was donkeys, donkey cat, and now a pretty car with AC. Yeah. So things on time change and you work with it. You know, so it go. Donkey cat with, oh, with cool breeze on it. Uh, with cool breeze and yeah. no we have Jaguar with AC, though. Yeah. Right? So. Yeah, so yeah, transition from, from my youth mm -hmm. days listening to music mm -hmm. and Grandma inspiration and all of that. When you reach the, like the teenage years now, oh, what was going on in your life surrounding music? Okay, so it was church, yeah. Because as I'm saying before, my growing up actually a mixed home in the sense that my father was what you can call a worldian, right? Or nowadays the word is secular, and my mother's side of family was all Christians, right? And let me say, grow up. And with, with the females, that's how it was back in the day. Mm -hmm. And what I started to discover at a very early age was that that same appeasement that my grandmother used to get from music, mm -hmm. I started to get it. But I started to verbalize. Yeah. And the people around me started to say, Yo, my youth, I can't sing you know, this and that. And you know, me never, never was one to really make things get to my head still, but it speaks to me wanting to go up there and see if other people was going to respond. Yeah. And then once those response, res, re, responses start to happen, it almost was like an addiction. True. Because now you want to hear more of it. But singing in the church? Yeah. And, and as a matter of fact, that's where the instruments were. True. Yeah? In a, in a most community, even to this day, if you want to be introduced to an instrument, a church is going to start. Church. A lot of artists started out in church. Precisely. Precisely. Because I, I feel that the church, people do music through church, have the different confidence car. I guess what the church bring. Or it don't bring then. It don't bring no boo in you know? No. It don't bring no boo. No, I when you go after you when you play around yeah. nobody in a boo. You know. As a matter of fact, them just hold, hold so, out hallelujah and join it out. Don't. So it be like confidence. <laughs> it, it don't yeah. break you. Yeah. yeah. Church, people singing at church, all of them can't sing. Mm -hmm. I tell mm -hmm. you, say, it build them same way car, they might get clapped same way. See, and, see. And people feel the vibe. As a matter of fact. I want to tell you, I don't mean for cut you out, but I want to add to something before we, we, we segue away from it and don't bring this up. It is a thing that as we sit here, remember, we are the ones that influence whatever minds, we, we, wherever those minds are. And so I want to actually say this. You see that thing that we have at Jamaica, we don't appreciate a person getting up on stage and making an attempt to entertain is wrong. Okay? We have this thing where we only clap before we pick them. That is wrong. Yeah. May I say it's straight to the whole I don't know why listen. That wrong. Because you you see himself couldn't go up there, go, go do no better. Yeah. See? And when artists leave here and go wherever else them go, you see it all over social media, YouTube, everywhere you see it now. The people who pay them money for come to these events appreciate them with applause. All when them never do all that great. Yeah. So get, me you now I try to change that. Own, own. There you go. Me I try to change the idea there. Yeah. What 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 will make you feel like if you just stand up in the corner and don't give appreciation to someone who is up there giving you them heart and soul that wrong. We need to change that concept. No, all right, but you see Jamaica, Jamaica is the is the home, mm -hmm. right, of reggae music, dance mm -hmm. music. And it's also the hardest crowd to please. Precisely. You understand? Mm -hmm. Me I right, see if you say you go try karate in Jamaica mm -hmm. and you do two kick. <laughs> Yeah. And you look extraordinary to the Jamaican crowd. Yeah. And people are real fear. I do yeah. karate on stage, I kick and I do some things. Mm -hmm. You go to China and try that same fucker now. Mm -hmm. And they probably I say, What that? Yeah. You understand me? Yeah. I say? So it's like yeah. it when the home ground, you know, mm. you have to excel to another level to to, to, to make them feel say 
you reach. I, I, and I agree, but, but, but the, the, what I'm actually addressing, right, yeah. is the fact that just because that person went up there, mm -hmm. even if you don't give them an emphatic 25 minutes yeah. applause, make them feel good because everyone starts somewhere. somewhere. Makes yeah? sense. And if you keep on shooting down, like take for instance, now I'm going to use an analogy just like you just did. Yeah. If you plant a banana tree and every time it reach three feet, you chop it down, it will never bear. True. You see me? Yeah. So if you keep on encouraging it by allowing it to come to fruition, then you will get banana fight for eat. Which is what I say. Appreciate our, like our, you just mentioned, problems. it is our thing. And whomever it is, and whatever status they are from the top to the bottom, mm -hmm. just appreciate them. Give them a little bit of encouragement and make them work on it and get better at it. Instead of not doing this and letting our own Jamaican artists both migrate and allow the product to get stolen by others who are putting in both work and appreciation because that is what I see materializing. That is definitely right, true. Yes, sir. Abroad, they will more accept you. Yeah. I accept you abroad. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. And yeah, it, 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 it happened and we can't deny that. And that may I say, say it happened for yeah. a long time. That's but why I'm going to take a few years. minutes for, for bring that. Because like I'm saying, if we as the elders, and someone is always the elder to someone else, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah? If we as the elders don't paint the picture or don't create the environment, then how oh, can we blame the youth when the youth's true? Yeah, true. You follow me now? All right, there's somebody. So once you see me, I speak to the world. I have a try to speak knowledge to the world and then let the world decide what they want to do with that knowledge that me just drop. Makes sense. Yes, sir. Knowledge is power. Yes, sir. And knowledge is the key. Key. You understand? So, Real talk. Uh, what you, you recorded your, your first song now. When you recorded your first song, was it mm -hmm. gospel? No, it was never gospel. Actually, you know, go, it, this goes back to what we were just talking about. I pound the pavement, my brother, looking for the right home, so to speak, to embark on this musical journey. Mm -hmm. Because um, in the early days, I came to realize something that's very important. And that is that you can end up starving as a musician. And your children will end up starving too because you're chasing dreams that are very elusive. Mm -hmm. So I decided to go to school. So I went and I get myself a master's degree and promise myself that you see, simply because music is within me, my musical light comes from inside out, mm -hmm. I will dedicate a certain amount of time moving forward when I can afford it to put what is required so that little niche of mine that I found myself with, mm -hmm. I can express it and then leave the rest of the audience. Yeah. Remember what I just said a while ago about, all right, so that's how... I came into music. I do not, and I'm not bragging, but I do not need music to put on my pot. As a matter of fact, it's because my pot is full, because it's already on, that I can afford to do music. Okay, true. You see what I'm saying? Because it's not cheap. It's not cheap in any way. And this, as a matter of fact, goes out to who would be thinking to enter into any form of business, not just the music business. If you want to go sell tires, you will need the upfront money to purchase the tires. Yes. Well, it's exactly the same thing with music. If you want to pursue music, you will need that frontal money to pay for the studio time, to pay the musicians, to pay all kinds of people to get you to where you have to go because it's not free. You understand? Yes, so not. I'm making that clear. And I'm, no, I'm knowing to myself, you might ask that question later on, and I'm not trying to answer it before the time, but I am saying that don't fool yourself thinking that you can go each up a studio today and boss tomorrow. It's not going to happen. It's not how it works. Right? That's enough, a lot of people don't know the journey. And that's why we're here talking to you to find out your journey. Yes, that. And so when you, you're getting, you know, and say, all right, I have a song. What was your first strategy to say, all right, I'm going to get this to the world? When you have your, your first project, and you say, <laughs> more and boss. What was your strategy? What was your, Bruh. you had a team? <laughs> no, I'm going to give it to you how it started originally. Actually, when I wrote my first song. So, the same thing we were talking about, it, 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 it has to be financed. Mm. I was in a supermarket singing, and this is a crazy story, right? So, I'm just walking, shopping, and singing, and I noticed I seen the same person too often. Mm -hmm. So, I decided to so just go back over the aisle, right? So, and when I go over there, this man appear again. 
And I say, oh, me I walk up and I sing love song and this man I follow me. So I say, yo, brother, you are batty, man. Sure, we did it. Bust out laughing. Because, right, that's a real lesson. Yeah, Jamaican. Yeah, <laughs> the Jamaican. This was, this was overseas. Yeah, this is overseas. Okay. So, um, him laugh, laugh, laugh. And every time him try to talk, him still a laugh. And then him say, you know what I say, no? You have a good voice still. I can't help you with that voice there, you know? But you have to go come to England. I'm going to say, come to England. Mm. Me for just up and just come to England just so. I said, no, man, it's my number here, right? And we did that part. And four years it took me to so, decide to leave my home for go so far. So where was home? music. Where was At that home? time, home was Miami. Miami. Yeah. So, me, I think to myself, say, oh, me, if I just take up myself and just put myself in the presence of another man and just leave all of everything up to this person thousands of miles away from home. Mm -hmm. And let me say, it took me four years to build up the confidence until I actually did it. And... The weirdest thing happened, I was in a double decker bus. So when I got in the bus, first of all, I'm going to get some breakfast and the people in my choir in the place. Now, England. Yeah. yeah. And me, I'm going to catch the bus now. And I'm going on the bus, and I notice this woman, like she in a bad attitude, I stand back. She going on the bus, and she going on the bus, and she take her and a man in the bus. I mean, it's a mad place to place here. Oh, everybody just a quarrel with everybody, so what is? Mm -hmm. And I look at the back of the bus, and I say, I step, so I go up the step. I go up the step, I realize, I say, oh, I saw people stay, but two people out there for make a baby. No, that hit me one kind of way where I couldn't understand what I want. Well, like, break, break. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah, so you go upstairs yeah. and two people up there. Out oh, for make a baby, I tell you, all them need is a room. All right. So that and the one them room. downstairs, out for cut them one under the chute. So it's like a apartment building. You understand me? Yeah, it's man. like a tenement yard type of thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it hit me one kind of way where. I couldn't really relate at the moment what was going on inside of my head because I have told myself all this time up to this moment that I cannot write songs. Mm -hmm. You understand? So I'm in a turmoil. Yeah. All I see it and sit down there and it's up, like, it's in upstairs, a, upstairs. And in it's in just a, me a, and them other two. Yeah. Okay. You see me? And it's like <laughs> all of the thoughts and everything. I'm going look on the surroundings. None of that now absorb. Something has blocked my mind. And it's like it's speaking to me. Almost like a third voice is there mm -hmm. talking to me. Yeah. And I grab a piece of paper and a pen and I wrote down exactly how I felt. I'm going to write it straight. Exactly how I feel. And I did not read it. I fold over the paper, put it back in the bag, reach a studio. When I reach a studio, mm -hmm. the virgin was not there. I'm going to sit down there for a little minute and tell him walk in. When he walked in, I said to him, I said, yo, brother. And I handed him the book on the page that I write. Mm. And the man said, yo, make us a bumbo clout lie. Cool, cool, like I said, look for me and said that to him. Judge, I got And I said, the same thing I said to myself, man, nah, come here, so come take no disrespect, you know. Mm. But the man, I go look for me, and you know, that flash on my head quick. And then he said, you're homesick, don't. Mm. Right there, so it speaks to me in a this way. You have a way of interpreting how you feel that others can feel it too without you telling it to them. Sure. Right there, some realize that this is in me. I'm after to do something about it. You understand? By now, I always hear my youth so I can sing. Now I hear so I can express myself in a particular way. That's two talents right there, so I was not going to waste them. True. And I write this up. And that brings me come to this conversation with you this afternoon. Oh, but I want to hear about the song. The song itself, it actually says, in a lonely hotel room here on the 32nd floor I found myself just staring, staring at the door And when I thought and then I wonder where to go and then I've been I found myself just thinking I'm on the road again so here I go, I'm on the road again, here I am, <laughs> I'm back on the stage, now here I go, I'm trying to be a star again, here I go, turn the page. What a Ross bus driver. <laughs> Yeah, right, that's so, all. You know? Yeah, man. So when we see things like that, even to this day, yeah. we have an interpretation. I'm fine to be unique. And so my music ended up becoming unique in other manner. There. But you're, you're, you're well focused in a cup. Two people up on the bus about to fornicate. And you mm -hmm. sit on a, a med tune. 
I, I looked through that, the window. That's the thing. That's the thing, you know, brother. Yeah, you want to say inspiration us. stayed away there? Yeah. It doesn't invite itself. It just show up. Yeah, true. You see, see him like how we sit down here, Sata? Mm. I see him where so my inspiration flow. I generally don't walk into a studio, listen to a rhythm and try to fit a song to it. It worked the other way around for me. Mm -hmm. It comes to me in a, its form how it does. And then I have to build the rhythm to match it. You see what I'm saying? So each person's inspiration is different. My own is to that source. And yes, I have written songs to rhythms. It's not like I can't do it. But my fine out say, what happened is that, you see, when the voice, because now I can identify it, yeah? yeah? When the voice start to talk, listen. Grab something, record that, and lock it. And any time at all, I can always go back to it. If I let it flow and go away, never will hear it again. You say God, because God, completely. The things coming at the moment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, it makes sense. Yeah, man. A lot yeah, of man. people freestyle it, I call it too. In yeah. the studio, yeah. going to Ah, the yes, sir. So yes, you're not really right down. Yes, sir. Living at the moment. Yeah, man. And yeah, I write away. Because music is life. Music is life. It yeah, speaks to and transcends every language, every gender, every thought process, every emotion. You see what I say? So, like mathematics, it's universal, my brother. So what was your reception on that song, though, your first song? You know, sir, that song was never recorded. Mm. Mm -mm. That song was never recorded. It was a bit too personal to work with it in the environment because environments tend to change for whatever the reason. And um, the engineer never like it, the producer never like the song and before it turned into an argument, mm -hmm. me just shelf it and move on. And just you know, you record yeah, something else. Yeah, nothing before the time, my brother. So I record other things, you understand? Did you ever um, record that song they like? To this day it has to never been recorded. Okay. It has never been recorded. Ultimately, my first recording ended up being <laughs> this is another story to tell as well, you know, but this is short and funny, right? So I am at work. And I'm out in the field and I notice something down at the bottom of a hill. Some lady walks up and she stopped right at the zebra crossing, pedestrian crossing. She mm -hmm. stopped right there. And I did not see where she come from. We just see when she appeared in my line of sight, yeah? And then all of a sudden, there's a person walking up towards her. And then her hand just come out like this. Mm -hmm. and, the, the, uh, and, and the person's hand just fall right in and she just cup it like this and hold it like this. And they cross the street. And I say, oh my God. And this is how it went. It was right from the very start when you were deep in our heart. This love was meant to be. And since we knew it all along, we built this thing strong and filled it with memory. Now, here's what happened this now. I called. And when I called, I said to my lady, hey, I'm going to call you back. Don't answer the phone. I'm going to leave something on the machine. So she hear this line. And that's all that come to me now. And so if you keep melody going, I went, da, 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 da. you know what I'm saying? Very innovative. All right. To so say, oh, call the answered machine. Answer you understand? Because I didn't, I never, have, yeah, I had no other way of recording it. This is me not a paper, no pen, no nothing. Mm -hmm. My phone ring, brother. Hello? What the hell is da, 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 da? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so you should listen to, to the message. Mr. 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 Yeah, man. And so, you know, that's that's how I speak on earlier. So it's a, it's an amazing journey to consider. So that, that mine is different. Uh, no, that market. was in Miami. That was in Miami. So England never worked out? No, it didn't work out because the Great Recession came. And then the finances to deal with music from so far, mm -hmm. it started to become harder to afford it. Yeah. So I had to shift. Malaysia, yeah. England, hard. It, it is hard, but um, generally speaking, moving anywhere is going to be hard because you have to uproot everything that you know and go learn something else. True. Mm -hmm. You know, just a better rules like not of people, I think. No. Um, I think what happened is, too, is that generally speaking, people have a tendency if you think, say, yeah, just because a foreign, when you reach them and you have money seed, you plant it the same night, and when you wake up a morning, money will drop off a tree. Yeah. Water is. Yeah. You need enough water, it's in the better just. Spit I wrote. Yeah, I get money. <laughs> you just get money. Yeah. You know, so, so that we are break that first day, cause it's not true. It's it's, it's not like that. Yeah. And uh, as as I spoke about earlier, personalities, whatever it is that changes 
how someone feel about someone else. Everyone that has ever been in any relationship can understand this simply. How one feels about another changes for whatever the reason. And sometimes that can be outside of your control. So that also speaks to you upping from where you are and going to where you want to be and the adjustment just doesn't work. Yeah. By the time you don't point finger and fault, nothing not changing. You know? Yeah, true. There you go. I right, true. A real talk, yeah, make. Yeah. So, all right. Living in Miami mm -hmm. and pursuing music, and you know, say, most likely have work, same way. Mm -hmm. Business are nine to five. Yeah, man. Are. Yeah, you man. I mean? So, how did you balance that? Okay, well, um, remember what I said about school? Mm -hmm. So, I took the plunge and I went independent some whole heap of years ago, 20 mm -hmm. years ago. I went independent. So, that allows me to create my own schedule. Okay. That's the, that's the first thing. It also allows me to set a budget within what I earn to know that I can advance my thing from where it is, investigate the cost, and know where I can bring it to. So it's an ever-moving forward type of a journey. You know, elaborate on what kind of business? You know. Engineering, civil engineering. Civil engineering. Mm -hmm. and that's what you went to school for? Civil. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Civil engineering. Yeah, man. Yeah. Makes sense. Yes, Dada. So it, it, it's, it's difficult for someone who works for someone else to be able to afford the time like how I can. Mm -hmm. Because while I'm here sitting talking to you, as a matter of fact, let me just interject this so you understand. Back in 1988, I got the opportunity to migrate. Mm -hmm. And I did. You left before Gilbert? Right before Gilbert. I left. Yeah, the June right. Gilbert came in September. Yeah. yeah. So what happened is this now. I am a Jamaican to my core. That's who I am first. Because if I never got that opportunity, I would have had to stay in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Or any opportunity to leave, yeah? So I look at life. I don't look at place. Yeah, sure. And wherever the place is, I'm going to make a life. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So as this transpires and continue to transpire, I made a promise to myself that I would reintegrate myself with my home. Mm -hmm. Because this is who my yes or my neighbor string cut. You know that phrase there? Yeah, my neighbor string cut, yes or nobody can deport me from yes or. So what I did was I wanted the authentic reggae music. And I did not want beat makers to make beats for me. I wanted Jamaicans, and for a very specific reason, Jamaican musicians play from them soul. Yeah, sure. I yeah. wanted that. I did not want anything else. So I basically built a home in a Jamaica. And created a space in a Jamaica, built a studio in a Jamaica, so that I can have that part of me fulfilled. Yeah, back to your roots. You understand what I'm saying? Back to I do not make music in the United States. No, I do not. Yeah. You follow me? He's a, he's a businessman in the United States. Watch this. Mm. Time went on and I see a virgin named Usain Bolt become famous. And he did something. That something is, every ad that he did was recorded on this rock. And that was by design and by purpose. I have been doing that long before you see it both become famous. Mm -hmm. You understand me? I have this concept that I believe that if I come to Jamaica and I have 1,000 US dollars to spend, and I spend that money among my people, somewhere in that mix, someone will benefit so that someone else can benefit. So it's a concept of the mind. Yeah? So when it comes to that, that says, make my music here. Yeah. So I cut that little space that you were talking about out, and I say, okay, so I'm going to be in Jamaica from July 1st until August 20th. And I sometimes don't even buy a return ticket. I just come down on July 1st, link up Pelpa time, and say, make we do this something. So, all right. So, basically, when you look at how our society is, Jamaican society, you have the very rich, very small middle class, and you have the very poor. Everything very. You understand? It's mm -hmm. all very. <laughs> and for bridge that gap, if you consider the self as not a part of the solution, yep. what are you a part of? The problem, man. Precisely. So, in as much as it might seem that you're small, you're not irrelevant. True. And if you don't think it's true, ask the ants. You can sit there and watch some ants build a bridge across water, bro. And the ones that are the bottom know that they might die. Yeah? But they're doing this for the good of the colony. That is where the difference comes in. And even to speak on the industry itself, 
It's almost as if to say it's just a whole bunch of cowboys doing their thing as an individual. And I can say this because over the last few years, enough of our greats have died and couldn't even afford their own funeral. Who can negate that? You see what I'm saying? Really and sorry. it's a business. It's what you're doing for a living. So how did you live all the way through it and wasn't even able to take care of your health? True. Got to speak to something, don't it? Bad money management. Precisely. Yeah. All the way around. Mm -hmm. You understand? And they come from the top to the bottom. And the thing about it, like I say, if we are the elders, we have the platform, we have the microphone, and we don't say this, then guess what? No? The stigma will never get broken. Yeah, man. Right so you see there. where a change can make? Like, what, what would be the solution then? I think it's education. And when we say education, let me clarify that. A lot of people, when they hear the word education, just like when they hear the word love, they misconstrue it. Education is not necessarily books and school. But I always say this, and I would love for it to be my legacy long after I'm gone. Master your craft. You understand? You need to know what you are getting into. If you don't understand how deep the water is, then how come you are jumping in it? Sure. Oh, yes. If you don't know that there is a peg, a foot, below the surface that you cannot see, why are you making a head dive? Sure. You see me? So right there, somebody I say, we need, we as the people, or oh, let's just say tomorrow, this show, bust me out and become the biggest thing since sliced bread. Yeah? Mm -hmm. If I don't spend any time teaching her son, his daughter, that this is not right, and this will only bring you pain, how come I am here cursing them when they go do the wrong and the pain arrive? That doesn't make any sense. That's redundancy. Right. Yeah? So when it comes to things like that, as a person, not as an artist, as a human being, because I'm that first. I was born a human being. I'm not a star. I'm not none of all of that. I am a human being. And before me, I even Jamaican, I'm a human being. Yeah? If I don't take the time to use what I have garnered out there in the world mm -hmm. for help the ones that don't know to try to teach them a little bit better way, then what have I actually really accomplished? True. Like, you just start a school out there. You don't do that? Yes, I would. And teach music business. Yes, I would. That would be a great thing. And I would write make. a book too because the thing about the book is that and everybody can afford to go to the classroom, but sometimes you can get one book, use book for one decent enough price and learn from it by your own pace. Yeah, the music business. Yeah, man. That would be a good name for it. Yeah, man. Or even the Jamaican music business. Yeah, man. Or the business of music. Business of music. Because mm -hmm. other part of them feel like a lot of, more than more say the older artists, them, mm -hmm. feel on. Yeah. Yeah. Because the younger generation now, they might do better. In my perspective, mm -hmm. that's my opinion. Yeah. I feel like the younger artists, them from say, 2010, mm -hmm. have come up mm -hmm. are better than the 80s artists and the 90s artists. You mean in terms of manage, managing Ma their finances and, managing and accessing fi it? Yes, mm -hmm. managing their finances, mm -hmm. the growth, they might do some things where like, they would buy houses. Yeah. You yeah. understand? And yeah, like even just real the other day, there was things, one you know? song that's speaking about a particular way of life and another song that count it by saying that can't get you right that's something you know you don't want to talk about people names still car now nah, look for no enemies but you, you understand what i'm saying yeah. and by hearing that it speaks to what you just said so me, me get it me get a hundred percent what i say but um the thing about it is too is the tools that are here today mm -hmm. there was a different set of tools back in those days because a whole heap of cases of producer rub up man and all of them something mm -hmm. it's a little more difficult to do in this day and age than back then yeah, you know, definitely. so the dynamics change, and they are grasping it. But by the same token, here's a here's a here's an analogy. If you are climbing a ladder, and you are unaware of the amount of rungs that are on the ladder, steps that are on that ladder. Yeah. Yeah. How will you know when you reach the top? I can't know. Precisely. So we are saying yes, they are doing better, but are they doing what they are supposed to be doing? So that makes the relevance of the proper techniques stand out. True. Because, yeah, you depend on wrong number four, you have swear so you reach right up and you have 68 more to go. Boy, you yeah. don't know because. We wouldn't say them reach further, though, you know. Right, right, we exactly. We wouldn't exactly. say them reach further mm -hmm. on the ladder. Mm -hmm. We just have said finance wise. Yeah, man, yeah, man. And I said, so how them, is it's better? Even though they just start the ladder, mm -hmm. them, them finance better because, like you said, 
it's a lot more independent artists mm -hmm. this day and age, mm -hmm. more than back in the 80s. It used to go through a couple channels. Right, precisely. Now it goes directly and, and things no, like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. now it goes directly and you mm -hmm. can be your own boss and mm -hmm. you can't. Mm -hmm. Even society on the whole, yeah. more people. All right, Pelpa time. Mm -hmm. One time I just TVJ and no, can have a pelpa time. Yeah, precisely. Which we spoke about that earlier and the, the idea of evolution. So things evolve. Yeah, some it get, it, some get better, some get worse. But yeah, so mm -hmm. we created mm -hmm. a TVJ for mm -hmm. itself. For itself, you exactly. Understand? And the, the nowadays equipment, uh, 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 what did I say? Um, the, the way how it can be facilitated now exists. Back then, it would have been almost impossible. Yeah, true. Because you would have need a big old transmitter, your yard, and all that, right? Mm. The advent of the internet you changes need, those dynamics. You need satellite. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And so, what if I'm only for PJPS? Yeah. <laughs> so, no, it, it, it's yeah. more easy. Accessible. Yeah, man, the tools are, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But musically, at the same journey, everyone want, mm -hmm. want to be heard, mm -hmm. want mm -hmm. the music to be heard, mm -hmm. and get popular and get money for feed them family at the same time. Right, right, right. Escape poverty. Escape mm -hmm. that are the main source, mm -hmm. right? No say, oh, get out. Yeah. Because uh, music become like a, a poor man tool too. Precisely. Just you like just like the ability to play sports is sports. also a poor man's tool for escape poverty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But who own the industry, you know? Who say, oh, I them control it. Mm -hmm. I them really I get the real riches. You know? Which is why that book becomes relevant again. Yeah, exactly. Because it would teach you that, first of all, this is the only place that you're on the ladder, don't get ideas. Yeah. That's the first thing it's going to teach you. And then it's going to teach you how to circumvent that ladder. Yeah. How to navigate your way through the inevitable clouds to get to where you have to go. And when to say when and when not to. Yeah. Because there are times when you shouldn't say I want to know about your projects, them up to mm -hmm. date now, 2024. Mm -hmm. and okay. The things that you have pushed out now. Any music videos? Actually, I have a new music video. It's about what? About two weeks old. Where are we? The second. So, somewhere around the middle, around the 14th or so of August, mm -hmm. I put out a music video. And it's the oddest thing because when I thought about the music video, all I could see was simplicity. And then it's a cover song. And I realized something about what needed to go across. Yeah. And it was like I was sitting here for a reason. See? The song itself is famous, the original song, but a lot of people think it's a positive side love song, while it's not. It's actually a song of a person trying to get back someone who they broke up with. Yeah? yeah. So it's a breakup song in reality. Yeah. And or so. A get back song. Yeah, or a get back together song type of thing. Mm -hmm. But it's one sided. It's only the singer that is wanting to get back with his significant other. Meanwhile, she never said a word. She never made any attempt to say yay or nay. But as he continues in the song, it speaks to her saying, Yo, we could just take a break for a minute. Mm. Yeah? So what I did was I just sit down in my vehicle and just hold a reasoning with the lady. And then leave it up to her for make her decision. Yeah. Simplicity. And it seemed to have worked because in about a week time, it was 50,000 views. Just like that. Yeah. What's and the name of the song? The song is called Everything. Everything. Yeah. See? And actually, the original is called You Are Everything, Everything Is You. See? You yeah, that's that song. That's the one. But everything. when me touch, and, and I only cover classics. Yeah. Only cover classics. I don't cover... Not like a song just come out tomorrow, I have no interest in a cover in it. Mm. Right? So what I cover like my parents' music, right? Yeah? Yeah. So what happened is I changed up the vibe in the sense that I started the song and I never said today I saw somebody, I said yesterday. Mm -hmm. Because I wanted I wanted the mind to transpire in a different manner. Mm. You understand? And I add like little little subtle things that are mine. But this is the killer. I combined it with a Patti LaBelle song. Mm. Love and need and want you. It's a collab. No, <laughs> no, me just me just tie the two chorus together. Okay. So me sing the two chorus and then the first chorus, me sing it just like the stylistics, and the second chorus me start with the Patti LaBelle part. Okay. So me have my way. So me revive a classic and literally revive two classics and made it mine. Because that's the thing about music. A lot of people will jump and tell you, well, come on, song. First of all, music is music. And if you're going to start to talk about cover songs, you need to mention every great artist. Because all the greats cover, even Bob. Yeah, man. All the greats cover. 
You understand? So it's just one of those things. So here we go and so now. Yesterday I saw somebody that looks just like you. She walks like you do. I thought it was you. As she turned the corner, I called out your name. I felt so ashamed when it wasn't you. Was not you. Oh, oh, oh. You are everything, and everything is you. You are everything, and everything is you. I love and need and want you, babe. I love and need and want you, baby. I love and need and want you, baby. It's true. More than you ever know. And that's for sure. I'll give you all of my love forevermore. You see what I say? So I just, just it, and it just transition right in there. Mm. But I have to hear it first. Yeah. Me hear it. And then, yeah. even mama said yeah. earlier about Omen. Yeah, man. Home, um, home. Me at home, but in my head, me are here. <laughs> I know you have the phone. <laughs> you, there you, you go. Phone right there, sir. Right there, sir. Right there, sir. Right there, sir. Yeah, yeah, man. Any mm -hmm. EPs or anything? Okay, so I have an EP when I release in 2016. I'm going to have a full cover song album that was recorded right here, right here in Architect Studio. And um, that was released 2020. Yeah. I think it was 2020 during the COVID time. I put out that one day. And um, I started to do another album. And as I was working on the album itself, uh, from learning and knowing things about the business, I started to realize that relevance is important. So I started dropping a single here and dropping a single there because I have a perfectionist yeah. nature. Yeah. And I am not willing to rush something to market just to have something in the marketplace. So we're still developing the album. We're still working on the creative side of the album because I want every song to be just right, just the way I want it. True indeed. You know what I mean? Nothing yeah. wrong with that. Yeah, I man. like you have everything structured out, man. And... Um, I think from my original 9 to 5 profession, it forces me to be that way. Just like you can say a person from the service, especially from the army, mm -hmm. we tend to fold him shirt and put it right under the same place, the same exact way all the time. Yeah, it's a discipline. Yeah, it's a discipline. And oh. uh, over time, as you practice to do certain type of things, even the structuring of my sentences is natural, wherein I have a thing about how me conduct myself. You see what I'm saying? So I that you here. Yes, Dada. I could be in the army one at a time. No, <laughs> and I never was. <laughs> <laughs> so, like shows, mm -hmm. all them things are going to feel. I'm all right, so you. you remember earlier you spoke about someone, I'm a, I'm a, some people, I refer to them as the gatekeepers. Mm -hmm. The gatekeepers have a tendency to have for them people who them want for the, them thing, for them way. Yeah. And um, certain aspects of it, I will not adhere to. And so, I will turn on shows because I'm not paying anybody to get on them show. Mm -hmm. I can say it raw. I'm not paying anybody to get on the show. I'm not paying anybody to get on the show. I'm not paying anybody to get on the show. I believe in that. You see what I'm saying? As far as the promotion in and of itself, speaking of shows, is concerned, in time, I'm going to do some self promotion. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? But you know what I'm saying? Your first start singing in your bathroom, so to speak. You don't have to physically be in the bathroom. I have been on JCDC shows in St. Thomas. You know, little things are going on in my community. When I come from in St. Thomas, I have. Um, the general era in my mind when I travel around the diaspora is there. And if something is going on and I am around sometimes, you know, friends or whatever, I might ask if I go up there and get them a tow tune and things like that. But no big shows of any name to mention now. Never been on any of those. The time will come, though. The time will come. Yeah, man. And you yeah, work towards that. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I said that if you do, you know. Yeah, man. It, it, it is there. I want to tell you, you know, say, a lot of times the people who, um, what did I say, drift towards only the big name, mm -hmm. a lot of times them lose out upon a very important thing. Time only goes forward. And when you don't include the ones that are up and coming, what you're going to do is you're going to run out of artists to put on the shows, which are they say you're making money, yeah? So you literally are going to expire all that all you have. Mm -hmm. 
and you did not start to tap into okay. the new... T there you go. So and next so, year. Right. Mm. So the show becomes monotonous, and so your you know, audience start to shrink. Yeah. Mm. Not build. They're not building anything. No yeah. foundation is there. They're not building nothing. They're just wait. Yeah. You say, who's next? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. They're not help to create the next, and they're just wait for reap from the next. Yeah. Yeah. And that is not a good look. It's not. It's, it's not a good look. <laughs> the other day, when 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 some American win the Grammy, I see everybody jump up and talk. I wish I could have slapped all of them mouth shut, yeah. because they are the ones that allowed it to happen the, that the, way. The, the, the reggae. Album. Yeah, the reg the reggae. Yeah, the reggae album. Oh, some, oh, some it was some. It was an American. Yeah, group. Reggae guys, group. Yeah, and and everybody are fly up and make one heap of noise. Oh, when that twenty twenty. I think no man. It was later than that. Around twenty two. Twenty two. Around, around twenty one, twenty two. Is that? It's got to be somewhere around there. So it wasn't that long ago. Mm. And everybody are make up one heap of noise. And those type of things make me smile because what I'm saying mm. is here's the deal. If you don't plant yourself a seed farm, you see where that I go down. True. The Grammys. I think where. Is that, is that thing where you pay for going, you know? Mm -hmm. Is that thing where... I don't know. I don't really like, feel like, say... It's not even Jamaican. So, I'm it's not Jamaican. Not. Not. Yeah. So, if you don't get that Grammy, to me, you're still big. Yeah, man. You're still yeah, tour man. the world. Without a mm. Grammy, yeah. Yeah. enough greats yeah, don't man. get a Grammy. There you go. So, I'm not really... There are greats that never had a hit. You understand? You understand? There's this guy named Solomon Burke. He's never had a hit. He's never had a hit. And a lot of his songs are covered. And he lived well. He became a millionaire from music. Understand? There's business. A, there's, yes, because it's a business. Yeah. There's a group, an American group called Grateful Dead. Yeah. That um, they used to always cover, what is that, the Paragon song? Uh, Book of Rules. They used to always cover Book of Rules. And they toured right up until the lead singer died. Every single year, these guys toured. And I say extensively. Yeah? And they hadn't had a hit for over 40 years and they still toured. You see what I'm saying? They so it's a matter of... They can perform. They, there you go. Them can there perform. you go. It's a matter of someone giving you the opportunity and allowing your light to shine. Yeah. Mm. So what's yeah. your plan for the now and the future? Okay, so right here at Architect, um, I'm going to tell you how this came to be. So I met Devaria Jones, Voltage, seeing at Barry Hammond studio when I was pounding pavement seeking my own little space. I met him there as an engineer and we just hit it off. You know, people's spirits sometimes intertwine. Mm -hmm. And um, we kept contact and I started to develop what I wanted to do as time went on. Um, fast forward, he started to have his own place. And then we talked about it and I said, all right, well, this is what I try to do. I'm going to come, I'm going to sit down with him and show him what the plan is and this and that. And we started. So foundationally speaking now, Remember, I was looking for my own little space. I found someone that was important to the finding of that sound that I wanted. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So I tend to work with him about 95% of the time. Good. So me and him are working on developing the next album at our pace. Yeah? yeah, and like I say, every now and then, just put a little single out there. Make people know so I'm still around. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it will stay that way until both of us satisfy with the sound we are create. We satisfy with the quality of the music that we are put out. We satisfy with the, the 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 time because timing is also very essential and important. The timing of the music that it, that this needs to be out now or you know things mm -hmm. like that. And so it's almost like you know, I said, like like a partnership. One person who has the engineering ears. And another person who has the vocals combining both talents together to try to achieve a common goal. So that is what we are doing. We are working on the that. thing in a da fundamental way. To forget it right because it needs to be right. Music supposed to be right. I'm, I'm say the way you speak and the way you, you deal with it, and it seems like everything pencil out. Yeah, man. You see me? Yeah, yeah man. man. Yeah, take your time. Should we have your monitor? Mm -hmm. You understand? You're comfortably pat. Step on, you know, well, I, I don't really think so, you know. I, I, uh, so, let me tell you. <laughs> you say, All right. You here's all, here's, all that so, here's all that money something I work, though. Yeah, man. Start to money. Money. They pan paper. Yeah. Currency. They pan cotton. Mm -hmm. So, you see, you fold up and put it in your pocket. And it's and not that, money. That, no, no, no that is not money. See? So, once you understand the concept of these things, then you will know, like, take, for instance, a filing system. That you can use. So you start at A. And you end at Z. Yeah. Or Z. Yeah. 
You don't go A, R, Q, B, what? Because that's going to have you all over the place. And it's very no, expensive. No, in order. Right. So it's one, then two, then three, then four. That is how the system works. Mm -hmm. So it's not only you have your money. Because I have seen many with money. And the money just dissolves like smoke in a thin air. Definitely. So it really isn't about the money, is it? It actually is about what you can do with once money. you have achieved that money. Yeah. So that, that, that is, you remember the structure we are talking about? Mm -hmm. That is even more reason why we keep the thing structured. Because all of a sudden you just check, and when you check, there is nothing there. Yeah? Plus, you have all kind of impetus from the outside. Sickness, all kind of sickness will just come turn anything aside. Can, with there you can, go. Ah, can, but it's good to have a foundation and a structure and you know what you want. And mm -hmm. You have a goal mm -hmm. and you should fit. And at the yeah. same time, you know how the potter put on. Yeah, man. You Identify understand? where you are. Plot a course to get where you need to be. All right. Right, that's all. So, yeah. I'm going to tell the people in my social media to, you know, your, 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 your Facebook, your Instagram, your TikTok. Yeah, Vivo, all them reach your music videos. All right. We just want the people to get more familiar mm -hmm. with your social media. All right. So here we go on, you know. What I did was, and this is because I know that people's attention span is maybe about this thing. Mm -hmm. So what I did was I created that website. Website is devaremusic.com. D-E-V-A-R-E music.com. Yeah. Once you go there, all my social media handles are right there. You can just segue to each one of them. Google, it's the easiest way. Google and dot com. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, man. Just right. actually, I have it set up wherein if you put D E V A R E and the M, it's going to jump up. Because, like I said earlier, you, pay for, you have to pay for these things, mm -hmm. right? What, you know, S O I R, whatever. Search S E O, search engine optimization. Wherein, when somebody do the search, your information just arrives to the top. Because remember, when you search for something, generally speaking, you are looking in a big pool. Of information to find what it is that you want. Definitely. So it's like a small amount of money you pay Google per month. That as soon as you put D E V A R E M, it just comes right up. And from there, so everything is flow. And everybody, we are watching this right now on the need for a checkout. Devari. Devari. Yeah. Him dot com. Mm hmm. Because him not only do music, but him teach the business of yes, music. Yes, if you listen to this interview, you can must learn something. You yeah, know man. what I mean? Yeah, man. Learn. Yeah, man. I, 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 I have made a vow to myself, you see, my brother, for try my best to live an indelible mark every time he opened my mouth. True. There is just this thing about how oh, everybody just want to in at the in thing. Mm -hmm. And a long time ago, the country I stand up on a bridge and the river come down and I watch all of this stick them and all kind of something I float and go down. Yeah? That's called going with the flow. The physical form going with the flow. A few days later, the river receded. Mm -hmm. And you see, I only put the same something when I see I go with the flow. Mm -hmm. End up on the side of the river bank covered in the sun. Hitch mm -hmm. up. Hitch up. Can't move. And that, like I said to you, I have this thing, this interpretation of things that taught me never to go with the flow, but to be the flow. Huge difference. Yeah. yeah? So, with that said, you see that like something where everybody want to hop on the wagon, so to speak, and when it pop down, them still want to pan it, but the wagon is. No wagon is around here. No, join the wagon, brother. Yeah. I cut my one apart. That is it. Right, that's so. all. Right, that's so. all. And any question that I didn't ask that you would want the people to know? I want to tell you, St. Thomas, big up St. Thomas, here's the deal. The fact of the matter is, St. Thomas, Arts and Entertainment, Capital of Jamaica. It's time St. Thomas gets some recognition. See what I'm saying? A whole heap of big artists come from St. Thomas. Massive, massive artists come from St. Thomas. I have a tendency not to call names because people miscan screw the words that come out. Can't call names. Yeah, man, I'm not doing it. That's what I'm not doing. Everybody knows. Popcorn. Yeah, Popcorn come from St. Thomas. Yeah, you know that. Morgan Heritage. Yeah, Morgan Heritage. They have them foundation this as well. See what I'm saying? No, it's no guns come to town. Yeah. Yeah, and, and, and Jabox. Jabox. Uh -huh. You know, a whole heap, a whole heap, a whole heap of artists come from St. Thomas. I mean, I say, big up St. Thomas, I'm a parish. Yalla yeah, St. Yeah. Thomas, born and raised. You see what I say? Yeah. And, and I have rode and out. Oh, and we have rode and out. <laughs> <laughs> I want to tell you honestly and truly, I have this thing where 
Like I said to you, say, me love for impart knowledge. You see, if you're going to go into the music business for the money alone, brother, change your mind. See, strange, change your mind. And that's how it works. You understand? It is a hard road, and this is straight across the board in every genre, in every place in the world. See? What you should do is find a way to master. I said this already, I'm going to say it again. To master what it is that you are doing. And if you get good enough, the money will come. Focus on it that way. And I wish you all of the success in the world. That's all I have to impart to the other people that are trying to break through in this thing. Yeah? And fix up your attitude. Because it's your attitude that determines your altitude. What is it? Right, that's so. all. And as a man, as you know. That is it. Bell for Time TV! That is it. Yes, that is You know, so we out. Pelper Time Production. Big up to all of my viewers all over the world. You don't know. Big up to all who lock into Pelper Time TV over the years. You don't know. Link with and you get your music video shoot, direct and edit. Your wedding, your funeral, party, stage show, photo shoot. You name it. So just check the information on the screen and lock in to Pelper Time TV Production. Big up on yourself. Pelpa TV! Pelpa Time! Pelpa Time! Room, 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 room! Pelpa Time Production! Pelpa Time! Pelpa Time Production! For Pelpa TV! For Pelpa Time! It's a Pelpa Time, you know it's that time! Pelpa Time TV! I'm governor representing of a Pelpa Time, you know? Yeah. Pelpa Time, you know what you think, Top? I win as a Pelpa Time, I'm more like more. Can't mix up Pelpa Time thing with no coffee! Yeah, I'm on a Pelpa Time, man, I represent for you, see? We're Pelpa Time! Pelpa Time right now! Oh, Pelpa Time, I want to them, them. Pelpa Time TV! Pelpa Time. Don't for Pelpa Time Productions. Pelpa Time Production. It does present the Pelpa TV. Pelpa Time TV. Pelpa Time. Yeah, let them get the belt on time, you know. It's all about Pelpa Time. Keep it locked. Time represents the Pelpa, the Pelpa, the Pelpa, the Pelpa. The Pelpa, the Pelpa. Pelpa TV. Our TV. It's Pelpa Time TV. Cross. Pelpa Time Protection. Mm.